Hey guys, it's your boy Malik on Fleet 3.0 back at it with another video. And you know, 2020. You know, I'm not gonna say it's a, it was a horrible year. I mean, there's some things, you know, COVID. You know, I wish that would go away, but you know, it's it's been a weird year, you know. Um, but I'll say this this year has been the best year to find out people's true colors, especially this election. And you know, you know, I'm 18. I'm about to turn 19 next month, and I'm starting to see people's true colors like one of my friends like I was sleep all day yesterday right because I stayed up doing a project that I was getting ready for do for co um, college and I, I was sleep all day I didn't wake up to 2 a.m. this morning and I wake up and I look at my group chat and people uh, the guys are talking about one of my um, longtime friends Connor he blocked everybody off of social media and I'm like yo 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 what happened and I know Connor since the eighth grade. Like he's one of the first people I met when I came um came down um came down to Italy, and he he was a brother to me. He was basically a brother. But I felt like as soon as twenty twenty hit and this man cut his hair and he became bald, this nigga turned into a whole different yo. This man. I felt like he was from the south like I felt like he was one of those racist people that you'll meet because he became um he became racist or that maybe 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 he was always that but it's just like now it's just like surface level now it was deep down but now it's surface level because I didn't know about this like this man was transphobic homophobic and I'm like dang because every argument we had in this group chat was with him starting it and we we're trying to tell him that he's wrong and he's being an asshole and he's and he hits you with that guilty card and he's like no i'm not wrong i'm right you guys why y'all all ganging up on me we're supposed to be friends and you know true friends are ones who will call you out on your bullshit, right and not those fake friends who be like oh yeah i agree with you like this man was i mean jordan jordan clowns on everybody you know he'll be like oh trump 2020 even though he didn't like trump like that but connor over here straight up I felt like his friend value is with people who agree with him and that's only it because Jordan Jordan makes fun of everybody in this group chat right and he'll call you on your bullshit like I will so he's like oh yeah Connor you know I'm with you Trump 2020 and the funny part is that me and Jordan was on a call with some other guys on discord and Connor wasn't on it he was just in the group chat and we was like yo Jordan you know he'll believe every word you say because you know he he trusts us like that and connor did but now he he um when some a third party like tr this guy named Trey, who i don't really know like that he was in that group now and he was put in the group chat by ryan and when he did that he called connor out on his bullshit and then connor got so mad that he blocked all of us and i thought it was funny because i'm like imagine getting blocked and you were asleep all day because when i woke up i didn't see him i'm i was blocked i'm like that is crazy like i'm telling you 2020 is when people start to show their true colors like it's amazing like literally like a month ago one of one of the people i i really like i was really close with ghosted me like what? <laughs> like what and she won't even tell me why she ghosted me like i got other people telling me oh you did this only you did that or you said this but i don't know if that is true or not maybe you just heard a conversation with her before but i don't know if that's the truth or not like what i got ghosted for literally no reason like i was talking to her her one of her friends her old friends who was she who um she met before she came to Italy and me and his friend and uh, her friend we we know each other on snapchat and I talked to her recently her friend um because I was talking crap about her cat's name and um we was you know was having a conversation she's like oh do you know so and so I'm like yeah I know her me and her used to date she's like, oh y'all dated like that's crazy she never told me and stuff like that and I'm like, oh yeah yeah all this and stuff and then I told her about how this girl was and she's like man she she was nice when i knew when i uh, met her she was nice you know she was relaxed and i'm like mm, that's crazy i mean yes yeah, she is but you know when you really scratch past that surface level that's a whole different breed like i'm telling you like it's crazy like i didn't even think about making a video like this until i woke up 
earlier this morning and I saw Connor just block me out. I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, you're telling, and then I'm looking on social media. Tell me you have not seen it w at least once on social media about how, um, oh, if you vote Trump or you vote Biden, we're not friends no more. I'm like, God damn, like, is that serious out here? And I understand if you like, oh, if you vote Trump, because, you know, Trump is trying to oppress black people, BLM. And some people are like, oh, A and M. I'm like, yo, oh my God, it, 2020 ain't it, bro. It ain't it. Like, it. I'm not saying it doesn't affect me like that, but it's just like, God, this election, especially, it really showing out people. True, color. like I, my old friends that I met in Italy, I see them being Trump supporters. I'm like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa where was this? Like, what was this? I never heard you. What? When were you a supporter? Like, what? Like it's crazy out here. Like, like wow. Like I'm losing people without even giving a good reason, or they just changed on me like out of the blue, random. Like it's 2020, bro. Like I can't even hate 2020 to be honest, because it's really giving out who's who's trying to be your friend or not. Like who's trying to be in your life? Who's really a dirtbag? Who's not? Like God damn. It is crazy out here. Like, I swear to you. You think y'all... I've been friends with Connor for four, five years. Four or five years. And not once did any of this behavior ever happen. Until this year. <laughs> until this year. I'm telling you right now. Like, yeah, of course. Brothers, we always have fights. You know, that's that's simple. That's, it makes sense. But until 2020, that shit went out of control. Are you kidding me? Me and this girl, we known each other for three years. We've been on and off, on, on and off again, you know, in relationship. Boom, I've been ghosted. Like, whoa, whoa. And not the fact that I was, um, these things are happening is that it's out of my control. Like, people just change. And, like, the problem I have with this, and I think these people are being childish. Like, we're 18, 19 years old. We're supposed to be, we're supposed to be better than this. We're supposed to get out of the high school phase. We're, we're at college. I'm going to the military. Like, yo, we're supposed to be changing and you're over here regressing. Like what? Like, come on, man. Why y'all acting so childish? Like, yeah, it's cool to keep your childish roots, you know? So you won't act all high and mighty like these adults are in these days. Like, I understand that. Like, I act out it sometimes with my friends, you know? You know, screaming, hollering, you know, just talking shit. But, y'all, like, one little thing will set you off. If that, if one little thing could change your effect on um your relationship with a the person, then that shit was hollow. That shit was hollow. And that's all it is. Like, that's, that's literally how it is. Like, it's crazy. 2020. I thank you, to be honest. I really do. Like, I, I, I can't even hate you because, I mean, yeah, I hate you because of COVID. Because I want to go back to Twin Peaks, you know, to see those ladies giving me my food. But that's not the point. That's the only problem I have with 2020 is COVID-19. That's it. I mean, but but because of COVID-19, you know, I started doing story times and stuff on my YouTube channel. Like, it's ups and downs. It has its good perks and its bad perks. The only bad perk is covid and these racist people. Like, that's it. That That is the only bad things I've been seeing lately. Like, it's really showing people's true colors. Like, it's crazy out here. But, hey, get ready for the next video I'm going to make. You know, I'm probably going to make it, uh, another gaming video. Stay tuned for that. And, hey, watch out for your friends, bro. Because you never know who's going to turn on you. 3.0 out.